hiking and I look over and I see this. <gasps> I found this spot here. <laughs> I just got out of my kayak. <laughs> but I took a glimpse into the woods real quick and saw this. Oh, that's my first one I've ever found. Do you know what this is? Take a look. That is definitely chicken of the woods. So cool. This is the Latoporus cincinnatus variety, which has white pores. That is so cool. Look at how beautiful this is. That's neat. Size of my hand compared to this. That's amazing. So the only two things that I have with me that we can use is a plastic bag. Not the best choice, but it'll work. And I have no knife, of course, and I bring my fishing gear. So I do have my keychain, so I can use this. And <laughs> so we we'll use this as our knife, makeshift knife. Always clean up after yourself, people. If you're a fisherman, you're fishing, and you get your gear stuck in the tree, or you leave it there, don't leave it there. Look at this. This could get stuck on all kinds of animals. So I've been told to not take the whole bottom. So just cut what basically what you're gonna use. It cuts pretty easily actually. And I pulled this piece up. And I'm trying to get it so it has a base still. See how I'm leaving some on the base still so it comes back. This, look, it has several layers. It's so fascinating. And it grew around this stick. Look at the stick in there. That's kind of cool. It formed around the stick. Ha! Huh. That's crazy. But look how beautiful that is. Look at the colors. That is so cool. It's like a peach rainbow. out already and there's still that much left. Abigail's gonna cut a piece. Just kind of saw the hmm, that'll work too. It all cooks the same. Alright. I'm just kinda yep. Look at this. This is amazing. <laughs> Hard to thought, isn't it? be this hard but we don't have a knife so we're just making do with what we have wow that's amazing can you wait 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 show me the size piece you got compared to your face <laughs> wow that's cool that's very neat it's like a little sun sunset look at that piece of pizza like a slice of pizza <laughs> oh, it grew around the stick like my redneck style. <laughs> we took the kayaks over, so it's a little bit muddy down there. Wow, that's huge. This bag is perfect. Look at the size of this bag. Wow, amazing. The layers. Look at. I love the layers. Look at these layers. It kind of feels like a, a bunny ear or something, like a peach or soft. It kind of feels like chicken, actually. <laughs> it really does. It's like um, soft and gushy. Yes, I said gushy, like gushy and squishy at the same time. Look at that. how beautiful that is. Of this, here's a close-up of this. Look at the different gradations of color on this mushroom right here. It was interesting too because the bottom layers of this mushroom, we're going to leave all this so that it has plenty of base to grow from to keep coming back. Um, I'm not sure how long it takes to grow back, 
but I'm assuming since it's a mushroom, it's, you know, pretty, pretty quick-ish, <laughs> depending on how much moisture you get, but interesting parts about the colors of this. So here's one of the pieces from the bottom layers. You can see how beautifully orangey that is. But then you come to the top layers, which are the ones that I saw first, and those, like this color, look at the difference. This is from the same exact mushroom, but look, this one's way more orange than this one. It's kind of cool. It um actually feels kind of like chicken. It's got the same kind of stringiness like chicken meat would. That's kind of fascinating. This is my first ever, ever, ever sighting and capturing <laughs> of this mushroom. That is so cool. Check this out too. Okay, so I saw this sitting on the ground. I'm not sure if it was attached to the other part or not, but I'm going to leave it because it has all the pieces of it attached to it. Look at that. That is so fascinating to me. So we're going to leave this here so we can get more and get some more next time. Leave that right here so we can have a, a base to stick with. I'm officially muddy, but totally worth it. Check this out. Totally full bag of chicken of the woods. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That's amazing. I'm so excited. I'm so excited right now. I'm gonna pack the goods in my kayak and we'll head on home. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy stuff like this, subscribe to our channel for more. Stay tuned for how we preserve and cook this mushroom. Happy mushroom hunting and have a blessed day.